Hey everybody, it's Blue Tide, and welcome back to Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. We're currently in the Heber Mountains, and we're heading for the peak, so... Let's see if I can make it there. There might even be a few other things along the way for us. Oh, there's a... Wiz robe of... Oh, it's a strong one. Um, I don't have any fire arrows. Which is a shame. Just have ice and electric and that other one. I think I ran away from one of these before. That's fine. Oh wow, took out most of its health and now let's get a flame blade out. And just kill it like that. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. That was not bad at all. Blizzard Rod. A magical rod that can cast extreme cold in a wide range. These are crafted from refined ice found at the summit of Hebra Peak. It'll be... it will break when depleted. Okay, well that's fine. But anyway, just a little bit further forward. We're not going up to the peak just yet. There's a lot of ice over here, wow. So, let me try to get rid of some of this ice. Which I guess means I'm gonna go to my inventory and drop all my flame weapons. Oh wow, that's just a, a rare ore deposit. It's good to know at least. Melt, 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 melt. Just gonna switch out to this. Oh wow, a lot of good ore from that. Please. This has to be a cork, right? No ice block would melt this much and not... Okay, there's no cork there. Well, that's a shame. But through here... There's probably some better stuff for us. Let's... Let's just... See if I can... Do this a little bit better. There we go. Oh wow, there's even more back here as well. Can't drop it yet. Drop now. Go in here and then drop everything again. Oh wow. Woomph. I love woomph. But anyway, we can see back there is a shrine. So getting rid of these ice blocks is actually fairly useful. Oh, hello! Don't take my flame blade! That's so rude! At least you're still melting ice for me. Take that. Take my flame blade to the back. And now to finish you off. There we go. Now, I'm probably going to get rid of the rest of these ice blocks just so that they don't respawn, I think? I think that's how that works, probably. I could be wrong, though. So let me drop one here. And I guess some up here as well. Get rid of this one that's blocking me from getting to the shrine. Can also use a bit of fire to make it go by faster. So I'm not sure if that's using durability or not, which is concerning. Actually, I wonder if this is using durability at all. Maybe. These have to melt for a long time. Probably if I was actually using... Uh, what's it called? If I was actually, uh using fires it would go by a lot faster than this. How much wood do I have? I did get a lot of wood at some point, but I still don't have much overall, actually. Can't hold that? What do you... What do you, what do you mean? You can't hold me back from my fire. 
That's better. Oh, is that just a weapon in there? It's just a weapon in there. Yeah, it's just a dragon bone club thing. Gonna keep melting everything away, slowly, faster, just any speed that works really. Oh, treasure chest. Gonna grab that then. Blizzard rod that I don't need. I'm probably just gonna let that go then. Because I have flame blades to recollect still. I'm sure hitting the ice block with my sword is actually damaging it, so I need to be a little bit more careful. I almost got rid of all of it, though. And... There we go. That's all of the ice in this cave done. That should be all of my weapons. So let's head into the shrine now. Finally. A major test of strength. Another one. Let's see how long I can, how quickly I can get rid of this one. Fairly quickly, apparently, if I'm going to get quick times like this. Nice. Perfect dodging is your friend. I'll oh, take this. Badly damaged ancient battle axe, that's not good. Now to retest a thing. Oh, that did stop it. What? I don't understand the rules anymore. I'm gonna change weapon, I guess. Nice. That was almost bad, though. Okay, changing things up. And up. That's actually an interesting way to do this. <laughs> I can stand right next to you and you can't hit me. Because you're too high up and your laser is hitting the air. Amazing. Ow. You hit my shield. Take this. Nice again. Okay, he's probably going into panic mode. Or not. Ow, ow. Can I still, can I still raise him up while it's like that? I can. That's the best. Roll bro, the sword broke. Use another one, I guess. And he should be just about done. Now. Probably gonna get rid of this spear like last time. That hit. Where did the spear go? How did it go that way? Okay then. Backwards throw.
a royal claymore, of course. Which means I have to get rid of something else as well. Um, I guess I'll get rid of my weaker flame blade. The royal claymore is pretty good, so. I don't think I have anything. I guess I could. I should probably get rid of my dragon bone. Burger Club, actually, because that's not going to have a lot of durability, so. Compared to everything else. Okay, but well, we're not done yet on Heber Mountain, because we've only got half of the shrines here in the Heber region. We've also got to climb up this whole thing here to the peak. Um, I'm not sure how well I can climb there to the peak. Especially not if I'm sliding off like that. This is actually all ice, isn't it? That's actually interesting. Can I there? Can I use the snow boots to get up? Oh, I guess I can. That's interesting. I can climb somewhat part of this. But can I climb up the whole thing? Can I actually get up? Oh, there's an updraft there. I can probably probably use that. Otherwise, this this side over here, the side is actually actual mountain and not just ice. So let's keep going up if I can. All the way to the peak. Okay. Still have a long way to go. Just climbing at this point though. Okay. We are very high up. Very high up. <laughs> wow. What a view. Okay. And this is the peak. And of course, if there's something high you can climb, there's a cork at the top. Oh my goodness, Korok. Anyway, this is a good spot to be there. Because I'm gonna quickly start a campfire for can. And I'm going to sleep until night. Now, if I know what I'm doing, which I don't, if I go to my quests... The southern, the southeastern sky from the peak of the tall, pierced, snowy mountain. Southeastern. Hang on. Did it happen? Apparently it happened. Okay. I did it by accident. But there it goes. Another shooting star. And the last reward from the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 side quest. So here we go. Salvage your trousers. Amazing. Let me actually go somewhere where I can actually wear this. 
so I can actually see what it looks like on me. Um, where's a good place to go? <laughs> I don't even know. I guess over here will work. Let's try on the full salvager gear outfit. Absolutely amazing. Just want to enjoy this moment with all all of this on now. It's 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 a cool reference. But anyway, now while we're here, let's head straight down. And then somewhere around here, I believe. Probably over this way. Here's something we can do here. Palmore Moray Ruins. Oh, is that a is that a radish? Party radish? It is. It's actually interesting that the temperature is a little bit close to the warm side. Uh, let me see. What do I want to use to get rid of these things? Anything will work. Well, you just took away my Daruk's protection with that. So rude. But anyway, we've got two platforms over here. Hmm. Sorry about that, I was in the zone. Did you need something? What are you doing? I was just examining a certain monument. This place has a very spiritual aura to it. Do you feel it? I recently realized that there is writing engraved on this stone monument. So now I'm trying to figure out what exactly is written here. Can I help? Ah, so you are the curious type too. The stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. Ah. If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments, will ya? They'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had some kind had the same kind of script carved into them. If you find a fragment, please draw a picture of it and bring it to me. I'll be here finishing my examination of this stone monument. Oh, right. And the words on this the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. That should make them easier to find. One of them should be right around here. Please find that first. Okay, so a fragmented monument is what we need to work on now. I don't actually need to break these, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. So they're around... here. Somewhere. Okay. He's hidden. Look at him, he's looking at me, but he's hidden. I would never know that he's here. Oh, and he's dead now. Cool. Okay, so... I don't actually know what... where the fragments... that he's specifically asking for are. But I can find them, probably. Over here is a piece. Monument shard. Don't need to take multiple pictures of the same one. I'm not sure if that's the one he was mentioning, but it's the one I found first, so... What is it with the game just spawning enemies all over the place? I feel like there's supposed to be one over this way. That might actually be one over there. I'm gonna get a little bit closer and see. Because I'm pretty sure the one he's actually wanting first was actually... Yeah, it's a lot closer. Monument Shard. 
Let's go see what he thinks about this. Hello, sir. Did you find any fragments of the stone monument? I sure did. Oh. Amazing. Show me the next one. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. Some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. I wonder if the currents are strong enough to have carried a fragment all the way to Cape Crescia or Soka Point. Letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night, so you might want to try looking then. It is currently night. So let's go to the map real quick, because he mentioned Soka Point. Or Soka, I don't know. And Cape Crescia, I think. Yeah, I'm going to look around those two points there. So let's get swimming. Luckily, the Savage Witcher gear has swim speed up. Oh, and it's got three levels. Oh my goodness, so good. So yeah, let's do that. Just need to make sure I actually have stamina. Otherwise, I'm going to have a lot of trouble. Also, I can probably just do a Revali scale to glide up for most of it. Or at least part of it. Swimming is fast, but gliding is also fast. Or oh, swimming. I don't know about swimming. I don't know what it. What, what, I don't know what speed swimming is. Guess if you dash a lot, it's alright. It still feels very slow there. Well, there's a rock there, so that might be a Korok, so... Well, there's another rock anyway. So I could also just be wrong. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! What did I do? I don't even know. Anyway, let's mark that off. And am I still on the rock, or am I floating? I'm still on the rock! Okay, cool. Oh, but is there... Is there a monument? piece of monument here? I thought there would be. But I guess I have to keep looking further down the beach. Until I find what I'm looking for. Oh, missing everything. There we go. My great thunder blade is badly damaged. Oh no. Wow, you really thought you could, but you can't. And now you're dead. Oh, so this is... Okay, nothing. I just thought there was a ring of... Uh, growth stuff. Green stuff. But nope. Anyway. Seems to be a little... Oh, this is an enemy place over here. Well, it's also daytime, so they're about to wake up. But anyway. I can at least get one of them, probably. I haven't sneak striked any enough monsters. Oh, he woke up. That's fine. Don't need to sneak around. They're not that tough. He's got an, a, a boat oar. I don't know why I grabbed the boat oar by accident, but okay. Now where is this thing? Surely. Surely it's along here somewhere. I'm gonna quickly use a speed up potion. Do I have... No, I don't have any doubles, but I have singles. Single speed up potions. Um... I need more things. I 
Now, where would the tablet fragment be? Or the monument fragment? Lizard, 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 come back! No! Oh well. Crabs. Look at the crab. Grab the crab. I really can't see where this monument piece is supposed to be. It wasn't at the other end of this. So where then? So where? I'm so lost and confused, and it is deeply saddening. Um... Also, there's a Korok here, if I can aim in the middle of the seaweed well enough. Um... Oh dear. I don't know where this fragment could be. But maybe it has something to do with that outpost over that way. Could. Although I'm not sure. It'd be a little bit strange if it was. Where is it? What is that sound? That just seems to happen a lot and I don't know what it is. Take this, goodbye. Oh, in the water, that's actually not useful. Oh, but he, I got arrows now, so that works out a little bit better. I needed a bow. Why did I just unset a bow? I need a bow. Oh, you're actually going to get out of the water. Thank you for being so kind. Doesn't seem like this is where... What I need is... Oh, roasted my sheep bananas. I didn't... That looks terrible, by the way. Just the way that it... Oh, what did you do? Just falling into the ground. Yeah, it doesn't look like the stone fragment is here. Uh, you gonna get me? You gonna get me? You gonna, you gonna come and get me? Like, actually gonna come and get me? <laughs> you're, like, actually gonna... You're actually gonna do something? Fall off, please. Thank you. Here we go. There really isn't anything here. So then where... is this thing? Might head back down the other way then and see if it's at the end, even though I checked there already. Just can't see where else it would be. He did mention this the the point, right? Surely. I hope it's not in the water. That would not be great. Get that out there. Also, I like the seagulls circling around. I don't know if that means anything, but, it, but it's interesting. Um, surely it's along here somewhere. He said it was easier to find them at night, presumably because of the glowing text, but still.
surely. Hearty blue shell snail. This snail lives on sandy beaches in large numbers. Its flesh contains a high amount of stimulants. So when cooked into a dish, it's tem it temporarily increases your maximum hearts. Another hearty item to make the game even easier. So where is this tablet then? Where's the fragment? Is it in the water? No? Oh, is that it right there? It is. Oh my goodness. It's right there. Practically invisible. <sighs> kind of was difficult to see though. Anyway, let's just start swimming across again. Hopefully have enough stamina. I think I do. I don't use a lot with each dash, so... Swim faster, Link. I command the... Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go see if this was actually the last stone fragment or if I need to find another one. Because that's also a thing that could be possible. Is needing more stone fragments. But I'm pretty sure I found all of them by now. Hello. Hey. Yes, I found another piece of fragment after ages of looking for it. This also reminds me of the um the Twilight Mirror from Twilight Princess. That's amazing. Ah. Excellent. Thanks to you, I've got a good shot at deciphering the entire monument. Give me a second to see if I can put this all together. <laughs> wow! Thanks to you, I've deciphered the entire passage. When the two find their place and kneel in rev reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. Ah. I haven't the foggiest what that's supposed to mean. Huh? Is that it? Just need to crouch on one of them, and then he crouches on the other. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I didn't know that was closer to bowling me over. The surprise, or the way the ground was shaking, haha. <laughs> So the two who needed to find their place were you and me. Makes sense. Good job figuring that one out. I sure never would have. Huh? You're fixing uh, to go explore that shrine. Oh, sorry. I won't keep you any longer. Off you go. So yeah. That one's a pretty good shrine. I like that shrine. It is a good shrine. The way you get to this shrine is very cool. But now we have another shrine to do. But that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time when we actually get through quick thinking.